Hey, I'm Justin. And I'm Nicola. And it's the same beautiful sunny uh, August day that it was when we did the allotment tour, but we're back in the garden now. We collected all this from the allotment. Got some onions, some dragon's tongue beans, a pumpkin, some apples, some cavolo nero, and some cucumbers. And now we thought we'd give you a little show around the garden and harvest. And this time Nicola's gonna give the tour because she'll get me more views. We didn't actually label so we don't actually know what is a chili pepper and what is a normal pepper or the different types uh, of chili so we're just gonna have to guess um, and play a bit of Russian roulette with it but we're starting to get some nice green ones here and these little cute ones here are starting to come through nicely nothing's really oh, turning no. yeah, look. Look this guy the yeah. big one Ooh, Ooh, yes. looks nice and these ones over here are just starting to turn ripen a little oh, bit more. Oh look, it's purple. I think that actually ripens red. But they start out purple. So loads of peppers. And then over here we've got, so these are our strawberries, and down there we've got strawberries, which comes, and then see them, here we've got uh, two different types of tomatoes. Um, we've got sweet millions. Uh, I believe so, yeah. And gardener's delight. And gardener's delight. So these guys are ready, I think. Yeah, nice. Sweet, yeah. Excellent. Compared to this one. Mm. What do you think? For them, I think. Yeah, I think that's a sweet melon. Mm. It might be garden's like. I have no yeah. idea. I'll label next year. They're good. And then moving around over here, we've got some onions. We do actually giant onions, but they haven't grown quite as big as the other ones we had. And a decimated Kalet from yes. Caterpillar. And then moving on to raspberries, which are just coming to season, and they are amazing. So we got loads last year, didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. And these ones are just ripening, and we probably get, I don't know, a couple of bowlfuls a day at the moment, and they're just ripening for you meat. Yeah, I just need to try one because, uh... go on, oh yeah. Just ignore the train going past. And then we've got a gooseberry bris, which is pretty much done now. We did get loads on there this year. Um, it's the first year we've really had loads. Um, and so we just froze them, make them into crumble or something like that. And then, so all these raspberries, I think these are from four canes. Two. Two canes. Two canes. So they produce really well this year. And this is the third year of producing. Mm -hmm. And they just seem to be getting better every year. Yes. So then moving around, we have different types of broccolis. Yep. Uh, some Waltham broccolis and some uh, Romanescos. Again, a bit decimated by the caterpillars, uh, but I have just sprayed it with BT spray, which is a bacteria spray, soil bacteria spray that's harmless to humans, stops the caterpillars from eating. We don't know what this is. No, oh, this was a volunteer of some kind. I thought it was a squash. Um, it looked like a cucumber or squash at the start, and we don't really know what it is, so we're gonna let it grow, and if it produces food, that's great. If not, it's going. And those are some old dragon tongue beans that are 
past their sell-by date. And then we've got a couple more Colettes here. So cross between broccoli and, oh no, sorry, sprout and kale. Sprout and kale, yep. And then a couple of different, of different broccolis here. Yep, Romanesco cauliflowers and some more Walthams. And then some more cabbages. Yep. So we get through quite a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And then coming into this central bed, we've got, I decided this year I was going to just focus my effort on a couple of giant cabbages. So this is cabbage one. Cabbage one, yep. And then I think they might have come to the end. I just, I don't know, they don't seem to be growing much anymore. And then the second one is over here, which seems to be doing a little bit better. And yeah, it's a know. beauty. I mean, that looks to be about the same size as that one that we weighed in at four and a half yeah, kilos it's last year. Five kilos. And we just wanted to give them enough space in the bed. So then we've just put some smaller plants around them. So we've got more chilies here. So this is a Havana Gold. That's beautiful. Havana Gold chili. And there's another little one there. I can't remember what that one is. And then we've got these, which are. One. This is, I can't remember what that is. It's a grafted tomato, which is why it's producing so much. It's unbelievable. But yeah, it's a, it's a plum tomato. Yeah, these are doing really well. Look, beautiful. You gonna try one of these as well? Mm, they're really good. They good. taste so different compared to those ones. Amazing. Mm. And then we've got these giant onions. So this one is a beast. Ball up your fist next to it so I can see it. <laughs> so we're going to pull them up later. Um, and then these are aubergines, which haven't done that well. They did start, and they're starting to flower, but they're just not doing great because the weather just... It's been a bit been cold, so isn't it? unpredictable, yeah. Last mm. year we got some great ones, but this year they just seem to have got stuck. And then around here we've got our courgette. So this is one type. We've got three types of courgettes growing this year. Soleil. So the Soleil courgettes, which are really, they're, I think they're my favourites. I think so, over mm -hmm. the Romesco. Yeah. Yeah? I'm not sure. And then the flowers on here taste really good. Got a few leftover dragon tan beans in there. Yep. I'm not sure they might be producing. They're, they're, all those flowers will yeah. be beans. Yep. Slugs like it back there. And then here we've got our cucumber plants. Yeah. So we've got some little ones on here that are coming through. And we've had quite a lot already, actually. This one's down here. Mm hmm And then on this one. Yeah, there's quite a few there. Yeah, we've got some, some bigger Ooh, ones on here. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so we've done great with uh, cucumbers this year. Cool. Coming round, we've got our little lemon lime tree. Hang on, which... Let's wait for the train to go past. And then coming around, we've got our little lemon and lime tree, which we just got from a supermarket a couple of years ago. And just by putting it into a bigger pot, it started doing really well. I mean, we haven't actually had any off here this year, have we? No, but I this is know. the first time I put actual cactus soil, yeah. uh, not cactus soil, uh, citrus, citrus soil tree. in there and, and some citrus feed. Mm. So we don't know whether it's a lemon or a lime, do we? No, they, they taste pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the, our other two pots projects here. So, and they've done really well as well. So this these is ones, Bianca. Yeah, and if we leave these ones to grow, they kind of grow into more like marrow um, size yeah. and shape. And then these ones, Romanescus, these are also really good. Um, and just, they're a bit firmer. Beautiful. Yeah, they're my favourite. Yeah. And then over here, we've got our little fruit trees. So these are the blueberries. So we've mm -hmm. got... This one, we've got a little blueberry. Where is it? Yeah. There it is. Hold on. This is a two-year-old and it's got, it produced two blueberries for us this year. There's the first one. And the other one we've had. And then this is a pink lemonade blueberry, which tastes, they go on, taste you have a go. like sweet, They're almost like sweet. I've only had about three of them before because we haven't had loads. But it's honestly like nothing I've ever tasted. It's like a, it's like a sweet shop. Excellent. Mm. And then there, I think there is, now, I should have thinned this out. This blueberry here, I should have thinned out because it's way too much. But there is one here. Can you see it? 
that is potentially ripe. Have a go Should on that. It. Yeah, yeah. See what see what it's like. Mm. Tastes so different from that. I don't think that was quite right. No. Well, you can also try that other one down there if you want. The little last, the last bloob of the, the one of two. <laughs> Twin number two. Oh yeah, that's way more right. Mm. Yeah. That tastes much more like a blueby. Should taste. I okay. Think. That's not ready yet. I don't yeah. Think. So these are good things, but there are lots of nice, mm. nice big ones on yeah, here getting ready. Pink lemonade ones are amazing. Definitely recommend. I think you think a handful of pink lemonade and a handful of raspberries at the same time. Yep. Oof. Oof. Need some ice cream. All right. Uh, the only other thing to show you guys is is my collection of mescaline producing psychedelic cactuses which are perfectly legal to grow and own and i think sell in the uk but you're just not allowed to uh, chop them up and and eat them but these are san pedros they are uh now a year and a half old and this is two and a half years old you see you see the difference in the size and then these are one and a half year old peyotes and this little beauty which is flowered for the first time it's probably about three and a half years old. I think it was a little older when I got it. Um, I got it about the same size as that, as babies. So I'm really proud of this because it is very beautiful. So yeah, that's our garden. Mm. Cool, should we pick some stuff? Yes. All right, um, enough talking, let's get harvesting. So we definitely need one of these. If you let them get too big, it will stop the whole plant from producing. So that's about as big as I want it to get. We've had some bigger ones than that, but then it will slow production of the plant down. So that's beautiful. Uh, I'll leave that one on for a tiny bit longer. This is what happens when you leave one on there that hasn't been pollinated. So I can still save some of, uh, save some of this, but this is just rotting away because it wasn't going to grow any bigger than this because it wasn't uh, pollinated, which is a shame. But these on here, are and i've been coming out here with my little paintbrush and pollinating them manually uh sexing up the plants by taking a the paintbrush dipping it in the the male flower transferring it to the female flower to try and ensure that that sort of thing doesn't happen too often it's only little but they're tastier when they're young yeah. and i guess while we're over probably time to harvest these giant onions and I just want to sort of see the size it's pretty good I've seen them in the shop about that big let's see if this is any better Whoa. beautiful what a monster There it is, folks. We are uh, all finished. I'm going to use this thumbnail and pretend this all came from the garden, even though some of it came from the allotment. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's us done. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoy our garden. And we will see you. Oh, that was nice.
little giggle. We'll see you next time.